Hey guys, Lumsy here, and welcome back to Transport Fever. In the previous episode, we created this entire chain for uh, creating tools and machines. Well, mainly still tools. And it was possible by linking everything all the way to this machine factory. So we see actually we have 50 production out of limit of 50 as well. So we have that part fully utilized. It's not upgrading though because we still need to create machines in order to max out the production and uh, trigger the upgrade for this factory. So we will have to do that this episode. But we were able to manage to create tools in the first place by creating steel from here. And steel is created. Oh, nice. Keep high production upgrade in six months. That's perfect. We were able to create this by sending iron ore and coal. Iron ore is here. If you remember, we created a tunnel to connect that from here to here via trucks. And for coal, that's all the way, you can see the rail tracks here, all the way here. Yes? 52 coal. We can actually upgrade our train now, I think. Hmm, interesting. It is only traveling one way, so I'm not sure if it's really earning anything, but... <clears throat> if we're producing steel, why not? It is actually earning a lot. Look at that, 1.56 million. Because it's super low cost, this train. It might be due for an upgrade. It might just be. Let me see. If you have 48 capacity and when you return... So yeah, this episode will be optimizing this part of it and will be creating the machine line. Now before I continue, I did mention in the previous episode that I wanted to create a train station here to connect the Conmats factory, the Conmats plant, because we do have some extra slag in here. But I don't think that's a real necessity. Maybe it will even be worse because in this way, we're only producing steel. So the, the, this steel mill will be encouraged maybe to only produce steel and it won't have like a competitor for its production. It won't need to produce slag. It will stay at 14 there if you don't have demand for it. So maybe it's better to keep the steel here and focus on this part first before we use the slag elsewhere. Right? So that's my reason. That's why I won't be creating a train station there unlike what I said in the previous episode. Alright, anyway, let's continue. It's very quiet in here. Quite laggy as well. Bear with me though. Bear with me. Now, let's let's take a look. Um, whew. Man. Alright. Let's have a look here. We have 61. This train can only take up to 48, I believe. So, that means... Can we actually take two more? And I've been told by Claudio that I actually put in these locals, this local as uh, in the wrong direction. The red part should be the one in front or outside, if you can think of it that way. All right, so let's go and buy a few more wagons in here. Is it this, this one? Yeah, it's this one. Let's buy 48 plus 12 is 60. Let's buy two more maybe. And then we can buy another local. I can put you there. One sec. Uh -huh. One more. And. Oh. Okay, I think I kind of deleted some stuff. Four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Did I say add two? Yes, I did say add two, right? I think so. So let's add one more local in here. The red one should be the outer one. And yes, this was built to be, to have this kind of setup. Oh man. To have this kind of setup with two trains, two locos at, in both ends of the train. Wow, that's a bit finicky, that clicking thing. Seems a way too off, All right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Replace now. I need to pay five million, that's fine. Where the heck is this guy anyway? Or there it is. Perfect timing. Perfect timing. All right. So we'll be adding two. We'll be adding 24. That means 70. Actually, we need to add more because this is 76. All right. Let's maybe add uh, two more since we have more locals. Let's future proof it a bit. Let's add two more wagons in there. Okay. So let's add two before he reaches this place. One, two. 
Good. Okay, maybe not so good. One sec. There we go. The red parts are sticking out. That's what. That's how you do it. But I did not say replace now. So I should say replace now. We pay 1.16 million in advance. And that will have... We'll get 8 wagons instead of 4. So we get 2 locos. So we basically double the train. That's the... That's the gist. Ta-da! There we go. That looks better, I think. Yes? 96 capacity. And now it's able to take 80. Not bad. Not bad. Because that will just increase more. Production is up to 200. Demand is 113 though. So that should not be too bad, I think. Alright. Let's keep that there. Wow, so many passengers waiting. I will have to focus on that next time. But not now. Not now. Alright. So we have steel here. Okay, well, that will upgrade shortly. That's perfect. We have a lot of coal and iron ore. That's perfect as well. So what we really need is to ramp up the production here and to upgrade this, to increase the limit. But in order to do that, we need either planks or plastic to uh, deliver here so that this guy can make machines. Because right now he can only make steel because we only have steel there. Uh, and this can only make tools rather. So we only have steel there. So if you add planks or plastic, it can also build machines then. The thing is, we can utilize our existing planks line all the way from here. So the, the, the machine factory is here on this side, on the right side. The planks factory is here, so that's quite a bit. That's really far actually. But in terms of capacity, our sawmill should be able to handle that. It's, yeah, it's, it's, it's so much underutilized. We can do that, but that will be a very expensive route and that will be a very long route. What I did find though, and it looks a bit interesting, is if you look on this side, so we can also deliver plastic, right? And plastic, we can use our existing plastic slime in terms of production. There's way more than we need, but that plastic line is being supplied by grain. And for grain, we have a bottleneck because this farm, which where the grain is coming from, is fully utilized. So we cannot produce any grain more, any more grain, any faster. So that plastic slime there, it's bottlenecked as well. So that won't be a good thing for this line. So what I saw though is that there is another plastics factory here, chemical plant here. And we can simply provide the grain from this farm. Pick one. It can be either, right? Works either way, but I think this one is closer. So what we can do is link these up, create plastic from there, and bring the plastic back to this place, which is much actually, much nearer. Maybe we can even, hmm, I'm thinking, can we, is it advisable to make a train there or just make a, or just make a, a truck line maybe, because it's quite short. If we make a train, we can say start here, pick up grain, go here, drop off the grain, pick up the plastic, and then go here, drop off the plastic, and then go back. I'm not sure if that will earn anything, but we can try. I mean, trains look much better than the trucks in this game anyway. It's all about trains, so let's why not force it a bit. So what we can do is make a train station facing like that maybe, connect it like there. I'm not sure how we can connect it there though. It might be a bit weird looking. Let me see. I can build the... Hmm. Alright, let's try it. Let's try it. We have more than enough money anyway. For 542 million. Why not? We can afford some bit of experimentation. Alright, so here we need something like that. And we only need standard tracks. We don't even need a catenary because I'm planning to make a diesel one here. I'm planning to use the diesel versions of the red and blue locals that we had. That we were using in the coal mine. Hmm. We can have it like that. I would rather have a 320 meter station though. So something like that maybe. Be in line with the the landscape. Something like so. Yeah, that can work. I think we need it to be too... Ah oh, crap, yeah. 
need, we needed to have two tracks there though like that we can curve it a little but no it's not going to be good no zero is fine okay good we kind of spent double there but fine all right and then this one should connect to here now how do we create a train station in here that's the big question we only need one track here but we can make it like so maybe we can curve it probably super curvy maybe uh, other side like that does that work I guess so we can build a road here to connect these guys whoop is that the only way to connect it right fine so let's make that and make this maybe something like that make a train station that's connected yeah but the curve is not going to be pretty nice yeah that's not gonna work let's make it zero then okay that works perfectly but in terms of elevation i'm not sure if it can handle that to be honest not sure if it can. Let me see. Let me try to be way back here. Okay, let's let's try this out, right? Curve it a little. No, this way. Right that way. Not sure if that would still be in catchment, but we can try. Now from here, okay, you can just go directly, fine. Collision. We can do like that and like that. Question is, are you still in catchment? Yes, you are. All right, so that works. It's not as pretty, but kind of makes sense, doesn't it? It's a bit close to this station, to this factory, and the curves don't look half bad. Right, we can actually make that. No, no let's leave it. All right, the question is how do we create that line, that connection? Maybe we can simply go like this. Let's see how that works. Nope, too much slope. Okay, that was what I was afraid of. Um, hmm, because this is too steep. So we can build a tunnel there. We can build a tunnel there, but so it's going to build the tunnel there, go out here, still be a bit up, but we'll need more space to go down to reduce the elevation. So that won't work. What if do we need more space? Let me see. Yeah, look at that. Oof going to be really painful to do can you go down oh that's the that's the most that's the steepest it can handle maybe we have to face this another direction if we go around like so then maybe just use this farm instead right hmm not sure how this should work yeah because of the elevation it's probably not going to be that nice it would have would have been nice this way but yeah i wonder where the elevation doesn't work probably on this side yeah that seems a bit dr dramatic that dip there so if we can give a bit more space maybe that will work we can try let me try first before we demolish this let me try to bring it back here first Maybe that will work on this other end. Let's see how it does. Alright, so that's the elevation, the ideal elevation. All right, we can make a tunnel out of that. Okay, that's fine. Um, can I move, please? Hello? There you go. And then it'll go back up. And there's too much slope where? There, I guess. But if we can remove the road, maybe. Maybe that will work. Was it? 
Let's see. If that works. Still too much slope. Alright, where? I wish it said where. I guess here. So it, it works both ways. It's It doesn't work either way. Maybe what we can do is increase this. Make this a bit farther. Yeah, maybe this is what we can adjust. Because that one, the other one is a bit stretched out already in terms of catchment. So maybe we can extend this. Like so. Like that. Are you still in catchment if I do it like that? Two tracks. No need for catenaries. Okay, that's still in catchment. Good. Let's see if that works. And in terms of... Okay, that's gonna be bad on this side though. It's gonna be real bad on this side. But let's see. Let's see. We have a bit of money to spare for experiments. Okay, pretty bad time to auto save. <laughs> okay, all right. Uh, the end is there. Okay, that works. That works. That kind of works. We'll have to remove the road here, but that at least works now. Good. You can easily remodel that though. No worries. Let's just do it like that. Like that, a much smaller curve, right? And then we can always even you out, make it nicer. Doesn't have all those. Uh, oh, we have to build this later. Later, let's rebuild that later. Let's fix the rail first. So let's connect here to there. That works, 1.33M, build a tunnel. I'm not sure what the elevation is, but I'm doing it. Good. And then do we need to create a second track? Probably not yet. Why did they build two tracks here then? Um, that's a good question. Okay, fine, let's build a second track. Let us build a second track. There we go. And you are moving here. Yes. Should be good. It actually looks pretty nice. But look at the, st <laughs> the grade there. I don't think a normal train would be able to handle that. I'm not sure if our... <laughs> I'm not sure if our train can handle that actually. But we'll see. We'll see. Okay. And I'm, I've been building the wrong train stations all this time, haven't I? That's why it looked a bit different. I was wondering about that. Okay, that's fine. That will work, we'll make it work. See? No worries, I saw it. Yeah, that's why I was wondering why does it look like white now? Is it because it's modern or something? One platform, curve it up. You are connected. Terrain alignment collision. Okay, that's not good. Why don't you work now? Oh, come on. Don't tell me. Boss. We have to be able to make that work. Oh, that absolutely sucks. Alright, delete that. Terrain alignment collision. Where? Where's the collision exactly? So that's not hitting anything. Let's change the curve. Okay, let's do it like that. <laughs> A bit different, but it should be fine. It's still connected, right? Yes, okay, good. So at least I didn't have to recreate any of the any of the, the tracks here. Still works. Perfect. Good. And now we have a, a freight station. Okay. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of you guys captured that one. Um, and then we need to add a signal over here. Uh, over here. Okay, good. 
and we add oh crap i'm getting these uh, huge lag spikes every now and then and i think it's because of the size of the map i'm not sure how long we can keep this map up because it's really taking its toll look how slow it is okay good so that's built okay good but yeah i hope it doesn't come to the to a time when the game is just like that all the time so you can't really play it anymore because we'll have to do something drastic if that happens all right like that let's build another signal here inside the tunnel um there and where is it where did i place it here there good and one more here should be okay let's put a depot here let's build this that should work now let me start with the line the line should start from here go there and oh we, we kind of missed a leg the most important leg the leg going to that plant now that's a big question how the heck do we do that? Um, well, we only need one. But that's going to be pretty bad. Can't go down like that. You can look at it. Look at this. Um, hello? Okay. Look at that. Goodness. Look at how high that is. I'm not sure if I'm a fan of that. And that's going to cost 67.6 million. That's going to be 39.8 though. So maybe there is a chance. Maybe there is a chance that it doesn't look that ugly. And it still works. Yes. Hopefully. Alright, so we need to create a train station that connects here. Um, how I can do that, I have no clue. Let me try something though. Let me try something. So we need a train station, a freight station that is 320 meters long. We'll need it curved, most likely. Curved like that. Curve outwards like that. Are you in catchment? You are still in catchment here. Good. That one, you're not anymore. Can I make it somewhere like this? Collision, okay. How about something like that? Hmm, it's not gonna work. It's not going to work. We can do something like this though. I am a bit doubtful, but let's try it anyway. Just connect it like that and... Okay, you're connected. Good. So the question now is, how the heck do we connect? Oh, yeah, as so you see, I'm getting these huge lag spikes. Man. I think the game is starting to give up on me. It might be because this is an experimental map size, so it's not really supported in the long term. Maybe we should have stick to a large or medium map, so it's not too impossible. That works, 47.2. 47.2 million. We'll need one bridge that goes around like that. It slows down there. But what the heck, as long as it's working. All right, let's see how that looks. Oh, look at this. Oh my goodness. Wow, that's like a roller coaster, huh? So it curves all the way around. Even goes through the city like that. And arrives here. It looks a bit messy, I must admit. But kind of look, <laughs> kind of makes like a nice X there, huh? Maybe it was better to just make trucks here in the first place. Anyway, we have it already. We've spent the money. Might as well use it. There. Good. So let's create a train. Let's start with a... We'll be going with a diesel this time since we don't have catenaries on this track. We'll be going with that other cargo. Yeah, this one. But the diesel version. Let's pick the red one. Uh, the red one should be outside, right? And the wagon... What kind of wagon should we need? Should should we have? Um, we need grain and plastic. 
preferably both in the same container. That can take grain, that can take plastic, perfect. Let's take, pick the red one. Grain and plastic, yes, good. So let's buy four for now. Let's create a new line that starts from this station, goes to this station, and then goes to that place over there. Okay, good. I hope that's enough. Yeah, but that should link those guys together. Yeah, I'm not sure how I will get around this lag, guys. Um, sorry about this, but I think it's part of the game because I'm looking at my resources. I'm not maxing out at any core, any thread. GPU is not, so not memory. So I'm not really sure. It's part. It's the game. It's the game limitation, I think. So if this doesn't get better after a while, I might have to restart the series. Maybe pick a different map. Unfortunately, I just wanted to give you guys a heads up. We'll try to continue this episode though. Let's try to finish it and at least finish that chain over there. So I do want to make it work. Okay, the farm is still not producing anything. It should produce grain. Okay, there it's fixed. It should produce grain pretty soon. In terms of speed, power rating is poor. Oh crap. Why? Is it? Is the diesel version much less powerful? Look, it's actually stopping. Slowing down rather. Let me see. So this one only has 150 kilonewtons compared to the electric which has oh the power is way different the power is way different yeah so maybe here we'll need like two of them already even for that short line maybe or maybe I'll just get a decent diesel loco yeah maybe I'll just get a decent loco something better maybe uh, an EMD SD40 or a C40 BW look at how slow that guy is <laughs> man 926k a year but these guys are super expensive <sighs> how to do it how to do it can we make that like multiple trains, multiple locos? This one, Stadler Butler, hybrid shunting locomotive, electric and electric and diesel. Oh, wait a minute. So should I have a catenary there? All right. So that doesn't work at all. Let's pick something different. Let's pick this one. Yeah, this should be good. This guy should be good. Let's replace this line. Pick you and what wagon wait before you go there let's transform you already uh, what wagon would fit with that yellow thing maybe a brown no not really that one it's a bit with a blue lining goes quite well with that shade two three four replace you yes right good now how does this line look like it looks like that. It doesn't actually use the other line. I, uh, hmm, I'm not sure if I like that. I kind of liked that it uses both, but that will only be possible if I have a connection here. Yeah, I, I was missing a switch. So the power rating is now good. The wagons look pretty nice. And there is grain inside already. That's good. That's a good start. So what we just need is to connect this here. Yes. And that line should now work. Okay, it doesn't still work. I'm not sure why. Mm, let me see. You are able to go there. Then going here. 
you should be able to take that other line. Maybe I just have to tell it. Yeah, maybe. Let's see. Okay, in Cleared in West, I want you to be there. Okay, that doesn't work. Why doesn't it work? You go from there, you pass through. Ah, right. Right. It should be the other way around. Wait, 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 wait. Alright, let me try and analyze this. So, if it goes through there, should I have a connecting one here as well? Oh, let's leave it as is for now. Kind of wasted the whole section of track here though, making that double. Yeah, but that's fine. Alright. So you deliver that guy. You have plastic now. One piece of plastic. Let's see how the speed is. This is pretty nice. This actually looks quite nice. I would take a photo of that though. And this time we don't have catenaries anymore. So I'm not sure. I can't remember who commented that out. But that's a good point. Why do I have catenaries if I only use diesel trains? But that's because I was too lazy to remove the catenaries now though. That's perfectly in line. That, that's a very good model, huh? Even has the guy in here. Nice. Sea rail. It's not quite the sea, but there is a river nearby, so it's not too far off. Good. That's a good start. Are you able to accelerate at the very least? Yeah, that's much better compared to 30 kilometers per hour. Yeah, and it's still climbing. It's amazing how you can actually ride there. You know what? Let's go inside. Actually, quite looks quite nice, huh? Did they improve the tunnel textures? Because this looks much, much better than the one before. Before, I remember it was a bit like a bit plain looking, like Half Life One. Wait a minute. This bit has catenaries. Why? Hmm. Well, we can always remove it, just to keep it consistent. Let us remove the catenary. So, in this section... Do we have catenaries? Oh, we do! How did that happen? Didn't I take a photo of... Oh, okay. Fine. Fine. Let's remove them. thing is, we'll have to remove every bit. Is it? Okay, I might have misclicked a while ago. Let's do that, and that. And you. Maybe I... Ah, maybe I said no catenary for the train station, but not for the rails, huh? Yeah, that's probably how it is. And when we took a photo, we were still in the train station. That's why I didn't see any catenaries there. That makes perfect sense. Okay, so no catenaries. Uh, going to deliver our first plastic line, our first plastic product. There's our train. And we'll be reaching up. I'll be catching up to him shortly. There we go. Not going quite at full speed, but good enough. Carrying one piece of plastic. It's a start. It's a start. As soon as we have machines here, that should trigger some production. Right? Good. There. Production is two and we now have machines. Well, a piece of machine. That's a good start, right? <laughs> yeah, it doesn't look quite scenic, this bend here, but it's the best I could do given the terrain. Maybe I could have gone like that, other side, like here, and then like that, to this place. But nah, that's going to be another set of cliffs, and it's going to be even more complicated. So let's leave it like that. How is steel working out? Um, why are we bottlenecked here? We have so much iron ore and copper. And we have plenty of steel stocked up. So we're really being bottlenecked by this production in here. Because this cannot uh, ramp up, cannot upgrade 
but this should get fixed since we have a plastic slime here now. So let's have a look. Ah, yes, I know now. I know now. What's wrong? When the train comes from there, it doesn't have a way to go back to this place. So what we'll need is to... So when the train is coming from there, it doesn't have a way to go back to this other station where I wanted it to pick up the grains from. So what I need is to connect this to that. Simply. Right? And that should fix itself. There you go. Now it's using both lines. There you go. Okay. At least that works. And then let's create a signal. Alright. There. Not sure if that's needed, but it's proper. How much? 27 grain. That's perfect. Good. That's a very good start. Wow, look at that. This guy is already up for upgrade with just a single round like that. And this guy is not producing anything because he doesn't have any grains anymore. And we have only three pieces right here. Okay, fine. That's fine. While we're waiting for this guy, let's go and check what's happening here. Wow. So many people. So many people waiting. Do we need more buses? I guess. So you guys are... Okay, yeah. Alright, let's add, uh, I don't know, two more. Two more each side. Let's do that. Two more of these... What the, what's the name of that? New flyers. Two more on each end. There and... There. Okay, happy? Happy? This one, we do need 40 on the coach. That's fine. We have a bus coming in, so that's no problem. It's, it's mainly the, the main line that we need to fix. And I think we need a bus line in here. Large street with bus lane. Convert that. Okay, that works. I have to check the lane though. Yeah, I have to check the line here. It's you. Alright. So far, so good. We are going through the main roads. We haven't demolished anything yet. Why is the red line overlapping the, the line? itself the line color it's a bit weird isn't it but it's good with the recent patch that they made the gameplay update you no longer uh, lose the passengers when you upgrade this that's perfect so you're not um, hesitating anymore to upgrade just because you lose your existing passengers perfect oh crap really that isn't possible? I don't get that. I don't get that. It says that one doesn't work. Alright, then that bit doesn't have a bus line. But that should be fine. Okay, good. So how are, how's our train doing? Our train's going back. It has five pieces of plastic. Not ideal, but it's a good start. And then there's how many plastics waiting? Seven. Seven only. Really? Okay, fine. <laughs> Let's say this is the... What line is this? Train plastics to machines line. Something like that. And I know the train isn't earning anything, but that's just the start. That's just the start. Okay. Two production for machines. We have 68 metal. Why are we not producing more plastic? Uh, more uh, tools? Or are we? We are. Okay, we are. Hmm. Where's our train? Okay, it's still there. Good. So let me see. Clear then. We do not have machines yet. Okay, fine. We'll get there. Because there's only one machine in here, one piece. 
and because there are always more tools than machines the bus the truck actually prioritizes getting the more the one with more quantity so it will get machines there instead of getting uh, the machines the machine singular oh here we go again with the lag oh, oh, oh. so this guy is the one which will take the tools in but technically he should be able to get anything yeah he has automatic there so he should be able to accept everything and we should have more machines now thanks to the recent plastics delivery right there we go so the tools there we go it's increasing that's perfect four machines four four i wonder who wins we have three trucks in total all right we'll see but that should eventually even out yeah guys i'm not sure if i can continue the series like this but don't worry i'll have something in store for you regardless either we fix this or we start a new better map or we start with a similar game i'm not sure if you have any recommendations let me know in the comments right hmm Okay, so how many grains are waiting for us? 33, we have a capacity of 48, I believe. So that should be fine. Where's our train? Uh, uh, uh. There's our train. 24, 24, yep. Be fine. That's good. So it's closely reaching capacity. Then plastics 10, okay, that's, that's an improvement. And we are on our way here. Good. So the next truck should be able to get the machines then, I think. And speed it up. If I speed it up, will it be even slower? Actually, look at that. If I speed it up, I'm not sure if it goes any faster, actually. Because it cannot process process things faster anymore, it's at its peak. So we're currently we're at uh, I don't know 0.5 or 0.25 speed maybe. But it's not going so slow, it's just that we're skipping a lot of frames. So maybe it's just really limitation on the frame rate but not on the speed game itself. Let's have a look here. Six machines. This guy, this truck, this yellow truck that's coming. You should be picking up the machines. Okay, there we go. No more lag. Phew. I have no clue how that happens really. If any of you guys encounter the same thing, if you know a fix to that, please let me know in the comments. It will help. It will really help with the longevity of the series. Okay, there we go. First machine pickup. Nice. So let's follow this guy. And let's see how the first delivery would go. Oh, you go. You go. Wow, that's a very busy intersection without a traffic light. That looks like mayhem. We'll be turning right here if I remember correctly. Oh, traffic. Traffic. Yeah, and we should be dropping off things here probably. So that will be the first machine delivery in this city. Yes, it is. Okay, three there, three on the other stop, I guess. But if we look here again, we should have... Okay, that's a bit weird. Cargo demand, that didn't increase. That should have, though. Let's wait for this to guy to deliver it to the other end. I think the other stop is there, this one here. Right, drop off the rest of your goods. There we go. Alright, good. So has any of that even reflected? Yes, okay. Alright, great. 2 out of 351, that's the first machine delivery. And if you look at the, the plant here, that's now at 10 production. Alright, good. So if you can speed this up. Okay, next batch is coming with 12 plastics. So that should increase even more and then there's something waiting here 33 
And we have lots of plastics now for team. Yeah, we're ramping up each round. We're ramping up each round. It's nice. We're out of grains here though. So I'm not sure if I should have like two trains. One would be this leg, one would be that leg. Might be, might be. But the main thing I need from you guys is how to fix that lag. Or is that really the limitation of this game? Because I don't think I can play that long if that becomes longer and longer. It's uh, Before it was like just a few seconds, now it spans in minutes even. Look at that, we have way too much in here. That's why we really need to jack things up. Road Vehicle 96. Uh, let me just renew you. <laughs> Old school MAN bus. Good. Happy. Nine plastics. Produce all of that. And that should increase the production just a teeny weeny bit. Or not. Up to you. Um, okay, maybe not. Let's see. It is producing very slowly, isn't it? I guess it's trying to like pace itself. Try to deliver more plastic, I know, I know. Replace Are you the same vehicle? Yes you are, okay, good. Alright, sixteen, there we go. There we go. And we have Plastics? Perfect. And we reached 600 million mark. So yeah, I hope to continue this series, but we'll have to f learn how to fix that. And we are now delivering more grain than we can carry. That's a good sign. That means we'll need to upgrade this soon though. If we need, if we want to, yeah, produce more. That's a good, that's a good sign. Great. Right. But I'll leave it there for now, guys. Let me know what you think. If you have any tips for me how I can fix that, do let me know the, the lag issue. It might be a side effect of running an experimental route. But hopefully there is a fix. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you did like the video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more updates. In the meantime, this is the Glum City signing off. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. And... Uh, Catch you guys in the next episode. Crossing my fingers that there is a next episode. <laughs> Thanks and bye-bye.